Hey guys, Josiah Willis here with Caliber Real Estate in the Bellevue office. Today I'm going to be talking about the art of negotiation uh, so that you have a better understanding and idea of what it takes to be a good negotiator. Uh, make sure you're also hiring the right real estate agent or realtor that best will serve your needs, whether you're a buyer looking for a house or a seller wanting to sell a house. Uh, make sure that they are well versed in negotiating tactics uh, because they're not really standard across the board in, this, in the sense that many people don't take the extra initiative. When I say many, many people, I'll, I mean primarily real estate agents, don't take that uh, extra initiative in order to learn um, how to negotiate properly to best serve their clients. So um, as you can see through this uh, slide behind me that's completely white and very uh, really simple uh, lettering, I want to keep it simple today, but I want to share with you a little bit about what uh, I kind of use as a guide in terms of negotiating for my clients. So it's actually this book here, it's called Never Split the Difference. And this was actually written by Chris Boss, who was actually an FBI uh, hostage negotiator. And what's awesome about this book is it kind of starts out talking about his experience as a hostage negotiator, um, but he also goes into uh, how he ends up taking on a room full of Harvard uh, students on the negotiating class and basically beats them all up with what he ends up getting in terms of uh, negotiating his side. And he uses these strategies that he's learned over his entire career uh, in the FBI uh, hostage negotiating um, in order to put this book together, which I think is amazing. So the first thing I want to talk about that he mentions is actually mirroring. So mirroring is when you copy the other person across from you. Um, it could be in tone of voice. It could be in uh, body movements. could be position, whether you're leaning forward or you're sitting back. If you're at a, a dinner table talking and discussing about um, maybe a listing agreement or whatever else, it's, it's really simple to mirror somebody else, but it actually is a psychological effect on them where they're more receptive to hearing you out because you're copying their uh, subconscious movements. So that's one thing. But the other thing is mirroring also is used when you're actually answering uh, with voice inflection somebody's last statement that they made. So say someone, ins for instance, somebody says something like, um, you know, I went to Hawaii and it was a great vacation. And you can go, you had a great vacation in Hawaii? And then you just you would stop there and they that would allow them you'd pause and then that would allow that person to then continue on uh, to talk more about it and it's a great way to have develop more rapport with somebody um, as you know if you build rapport with somebody that actually helps them uh, feel more comfortable with you and then you can have um, sort of a, a negotiating uh, or a negotiation go a little bit more smoothly when you each have the ability to trust each other so that's really cool about mirroring. It's very effective. You can use it in many different ways, but that's one of the things he says in this book that he uses. Uh, the other thing is his, uh, his com uh, comfortable DJ voice, basically. So he talks very comfortably, depending on the situation. Um, matching tonality, like I mentioned, is a form of mirroring, but matching to tonality of the person that you're talking to does, is, is important. Um, so that's another negotiating tactic. Uh, one of the things he talks about that's awesome is called labeling in this book. And labeling basically means that you're actually calling out something that you see in the other person in terms of how they're acting or the words they're using. You can call out an emotion they may be having or um, something that's a conflict that they may be running into um, in terms of negotiating. And it's really effective. It's much more effective than actually acting like you have empathy for them because you, don't, you possibly don't know them that well. So when you actually label something, it might sound like this. It seems like you're a little bit frustrated with this time span that we have for this contract. And then they can say, well, yeah, I, I, I don't like how long we're going to be under contract for, or you know, something of that, uh, of that nature, I guess you could say. But labeling helps to get the person um, to reveal emotions. And emotions are generally very deep-seated things that will affect a negotiation. Um, and so that's one technique that he uses in this book, too. I highly recommend you pick a copy up and read it yourself. No, I'm not an affiliate marketer marketer for him, but I do uh, recommend that you read it because it, it can be applied in pretty much all aspects of life, whether it be business, relationships, uh, personal development, everything. So um, there's a couple other ones in here that are really great. I won't spoil them all because um, I want to keep this video short, but just know that uh, when you're looking for a real estate agent or realtor or sales agent or whatever, make sure that you're hiring one that is a good negotiator because that could make or break um, the ability for you to get a good deal and one that best suits you and your family's needs. So 
Um, like I said, this is just one of the things that I use uh, and I continuously study to try to better my craft. So if you're looking for a real estate agent, uh, please give me a call. You can reach me at 360-560-8073 or you can shoot me an email at uh, josiahw at caliberre.com. Uh, once again, this is Josiah Willis signing off from the Bellevue office and I hope this has been informational for you and uh, let me know if there's any way I can help you guys. Thank you.